Hi, welcome back to Eyeball Aeronautics. Today I thought I'd post a video showing how I cover my hot wire cut wing cores with a 60-40 mix of uh, carpenter's wood glue and water. I picked up this uh, covering method on RC groups. It was posted by a gentleman named Hoppy and um, it works really well and it's pretty much my go-to covering method for my wing cores. So to start out with, like I said a moment ago, I'm mixing up some uh, carpenter's wood glue with about a 60-40 mix of glue to water. So what I want to show you here, I've already covered the bottom of the wing and you can see the paper kind of folded over the edges. And what I do is I cover this particular wing in four different sections. And what I want to do is cut the paper to roughly fit each section, uh, overlapping at the joints. Then I'm going to make a small reference line just to let me know about where to stop the glue when I uh, spread the glue on because yeah, I don't want to be short because then the paper won't stick and I don't want to go way past it either because then it just gets messy. So then just liberally uh, spread the glue onto the foam. I just use a foam brush. You can just use a cheap throwaway paintbrush of any type. Uh, and like I say, just liberally spread the glue onto the wing and um, actually overlap uh, the sides and the bottom so that there's glue uh, on the bottom side where the paper is actually going to overlap. Okay, so once that's covered, I then take the paper and I just mist it with some um, water. I just use this, an old spray bottle and uh, and just get it so that it's saturated. Um, if you're doing this in your house, I guess I would put a towel down or something because uh, I like to get it basically dripping wet. So once the paper is saturated, I just place it over the, the wing, uh, trying to line it up with my reference mark and you know, equally spaced so that I have the same amount of overlap on each side. Then I'm going to take uh, an old gift card and um, use it kind of like a squeegee and work all the wrinkles out um, and also uh, squeegeeing the excess water and excess glue off and then uh, if you can see, I got the water bottle in the way, but you can also use the edge of the gift card. Just kind of tear the paper uh, where you need the corners to uh, to fit, or you can trim it with the scissors. But uh, just squeegee the the excess water and glue out, and you got to be careful. You don't want to leave any bubbles, and then just um, work it out, work it around, and then, um, you know, follow it around until you get the, the majority of it uh, flattened out. Now, I'm not sure if you can see here, but where the dihedral is, it wants to make a wrinkle. So I just took the, the um, gift card and made a little slit in the paper so that it would... Um, Oh, you know, not wrinkled. And then I took my scissors, I trimmed a little excess off. And I'm also, uh, you know, like I said, just trimming some excess and then clipping the corners. If you make multiple slits uh, on the wing tip, that, that'll that allow you to, um, to work the paper around the edges without uh, getting a wrinkle. And if you notice that there's a wrinkle, the wrinkle itself tells you where to make the cut. 
So if it's wrinkling in a certain spot, just take your scissors and clip straight along the wrinkle and then uh, press the paper down and, um, you know, work that way you can work the wrinkles out and you just let the paper overlap itself. I'm not sure if it's real clear here how I'm doing this, but um, as I pull the paper down, I see where it's uh, creating an, either an air bubble or a wrinkle, and I just cut the paper along that wrinkle and then just work the air out of it. And then finally, what you're going to do is you know, smear a little extra glue on if it's starting to dry, uh, and then work it around with your credit card again, or your gift card, and just um, finish off the edges. Any little, any little frayed paper, it's fine. If it's kind of sticking up a little bit, just make sure there's plenty of glue on it. When it dries, you can actually sand it smooth. So what I'm doing here is just um, marking out the uh, next piece of paper to cover the next section. I just lay the wing over the paper and make a couple of reference marks and then uh, cut it out, giving yourself plenty of room to overlap. If you have to, you can trim it later. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is the paper, I actually got this unprinted newsprint from U-Haul. Uh, it's, it's paper that they sell to wrap your dishes in when you're moving, and it's basically newsprint paper that hasn't been uh, printed on. So you can cut it with an X-Acto knife or a scissors. Uh, sometimes it doesn't cut the greatest with an X-Acto knife. It might tear if your blade's not very, very sharp. So anyway, I'm just going to line it up on my reference marks and zip it off. Now I'm just going to cover the center section the same exact manner as I did the wingtip. So here I am finishing up the last panel. I did it in two steps. I did the bottom, I allowed that to dry, and then I did the top. Now with a little practice, you can get pretty quick at it. Uh, this particular wing took me about two hours to do total. and. Um, you know, it gets really stiff once it's dry. This wing is 56 inches long, and there's no spar in it at all. So, anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope uh, it helps somebody out, and um, thanks again for uh, watching Eyeball Aeronautics.